Hi everyone, so in this video we learn how to select rows with the special index operator ilog, which enables us to so-called position-based indexing. But before we introduce a brand new data frame that contains all medals that have been awarded in Olympic Summer Games from 1896 till 2012. So in our folder there's already stored a CSV file called summer.csv and we can import this. So first of all we have to import pandas and then we can import our summer.csv file within the pandas method read CSV and we assign the variable summer and we can have a look at our data frame. So here are the first five rows and actually each row is actually a medal that uh, has been awarded uh, during uh, Summer Olympic Games. So it's starting here from 1896 and the host city was Athens, um, the sport was aquatics, uh, discipline swimming and uh, the athlete that won the gold medal was Alfred Hayos from Hungary and uh, it's a man. And uh, the event was 100 meter freestyle swimming. So let's check also the last five rows with um, the tail method. So we end here in the year 2012 where the host city was London. And uh, the very last medal that was awarded was in wrestling freestyle. And the athlete was uh, Jimmy Lidberg from Sweden. It's a man obviously and uh, the event was wrestling freestyle until 96 kilograms and he won the bronze medal. And let's also get some meter information. So let's call the method uh, info. And here we can see we have a range index. So here the index label starts from zero to 31,164. So we have 31,165 entries or rows. So in total 31,165 medals were awarded and our data frame contains the nine columns. So year, city, sport, discipline, athlete, country, gender, event and medal. Yeah, and actually we have almost no missing values. So only here in the country column we have yeah, actually four missing values. And uh, the data types are in the year column integers and in all the other columns um, strings. So here's object, uh, but in easy words, so if uh, we see object here, we have actually a string data type in the columns and we have already a memory usage of 2.1 megabytes. So this is actually a larger data set than the Titanic data set. All right, so now we want to select a single rows and let's assume we want to select only here the very first row, Alfred Hayos. And let's type summer. And in the last video we saw that by just passing here the row label zero does not work. And therefore we have to introduce um, our indexing operator ilog. So we write here dot ilog. And still then in, in spare brackets we pass the index position of the row that we want to select. So we want to sele select the very first row here. And uh, the concept of uh, zero-based indexing also works uh, with ilog. So if you want to select the very first row, we have to select the row at index position zero. So let's try it here. And now we get the very first row and the values of the very first row are here on the right side and the column labels are on the left side. So we have the year 1896 in the city Athens, the sport was aquatics, the discipline was swimming, the athlete was uh, Alfred Hayos from Hungary, he's a man and uh, the event was 100 meter freestyle and he won the gold medal. And we can also check uh, the data type of our slice here. And same as with columns, if we slice one row with um, the ilog operator, we get a panda series. And we can also select other rows, so let's copy it here. So let's select uh, the second row at index position 1. And we get here Otto Herschmann who won the silver medal, let's check it here. Here to the second row 
at index position 1, Otto Herschmann. So, and same as with the lists and numpy arrays, um, the zero base indexing works, and also we can index the very last row by having the index position minus 1. So here we get the very last row, it's here Jimmy Lidberg. So also here we get the Panda series with the, the very last row, so Jimmy Lidberg won bronze. And same as with the lists or numpy arrays, we can also make slices. So for example, we want to have uh, the first five rows, so starting from index position 0 till index position 5, but 5 excluding. So and here we get the, the very first five rows. And of course we can also get the very last five rows. So starting from the index position minus five till the very last. And this should give us um, the same five last rows and then the tail method. So starting from Damian Janikowski till Jimmy Lidberg. Here we have the tail method. Exactly. Yeah, and we can also make some more advanced slices. So let's say we want to have the rows from index position 456 till index position 459. So here we have some medals uh, from 1900 in Paris um, and this board is rowing. And what we can also do, we can pass a list of index positions. So for example, we want to have the row at index position 2, at index position 45, and at index position 765. So we pass here a list of uh, index positions uh, within our spare brackets here. And here we get the rows at index position 2, 45, and 765. Alright, so in this video we learned how to slice and select rows with the iLog operator. And yeah, essentially it works in the exact same way as slicing lists or numpy arrays with um, position-based indexing. So this is actually nothing new. And in the next session we learn how to slice rows and columns with uh, the iLog operator. So hope to see you there. Bye!